the Office of King County Executive. The County Executive manages the delivery of such regional services as criminal justice, metro transit, and wastewater treatment. In 2020, the voters of King County amended the charter so that the sheriff became an appointed position. Beginning in 2022, the sheriff will be appointed by the executive and confirmed by the county council. The executive also directs the local services provided to those in the unincorporated areas outside of cities. This is a nonpartisan position and is elected for a four-year term. All voters in King County can vote for county executive. The top two vote-getters will advance to the general election in November. As I was walking here to the TV studio, I saw a number of tents. Actually, I saw a lot of tents and uh, signifying that there's homeless people in our society. And it seems that each year, the number of homeless people have increased and increased and increased under the policies that we have. And uh, I, good space guy, candidate for King County Executive, am accusing the job-destroying minimum wage as being the culprit. So I say that the minimum wage, the job-destroying minimum wage of the command economy of socialism is uh, destroying jobs and creating the homeless people. So in raising the uh, level of um, prosperity in King County, we should start with the homeless and make it legal for them to get back to work. Uh, it's uh, wrong of government to step in and say to people, you may not sell your labor at a bargain. Uh, you have to sell it at a certain price where people, when they consider your problems, will not hire you. So that is a wrong thing to do. Uh, so the best system for economic system for raising the living standard in King County is called capitalism. Capitalism with its um, profit incentive serves the consumers better and gets a more balanced economy. Uh, so the capitalism and its supply and demand and its profit seeking uh, best serves the consumers and best raises the living standard. When I lived in uh, Germany, I noticed people fleeing from East Germany uh, socialism uh, to uh, West Ger Germany uh, land of capitalism. Uh, and this was a voluntary vote with their feet. When COVID arrived here, the first place in the country impacted by this deadly virus, I took swift, decisive action. We led with science and reason and saved thousands of lives and reduced our infection rate to among the lowest in the nation. The New York Times reported that had the rest of America followed our lead, the nation could have avoided more than 300,000 deaths. As we emerge from the pandemic, I'm bringing that same clarity and resolve to the toughest challenges and uniting our region for an economic recovery where everyone can thrive. We're taking bold action on homelessness, moving thousands off the streets and into housing with services to restore lives. And through my Best Starts for Kids initiative, we've kept 10,000 children and families safely housed. This housing crisis made worse by the pandemic requires both compassion and the proven ability to drive real change. We're improving public safety and public trust by investing in gun violence prevention and aid to victims of domestic violence and other crimes and collaborating with communities to create real safety. I've asked community leaders to work with me as we appoint a new sheriff who is accountable to me, the council, and the people. We're helping kids stay in school, graduate, and avoid the criminal legal system, and I've succeeded in driving down the youth detention rate nearly tenfold. And I'm taking urgent action on climate leading the fight for regional light rail and converting Metro to an all-electric fleet. And there's more exciting progress to come. I'm grateful for the endorsements of Governors Inslee, Gregoire, and Locke, over 40 Democratic legislators, the MLK Labor Council, healthcare workers, firefighters, building trades, the Washington Conservation Voters, and the Alliance for Gun Responsibility. My commitment to public service was instilled in me by my parents, retired public school teachers. Today, Shirley and I are raising our daughter in the same West Seattle neighborhood where I grew up. Let's keep working together to help all King County families thrive. Thank you.
After 12 years of the current leadership failing to solve our biggest problems like homelessness, it's time for change. My name is Joe Wynn, and I'm running for King County Executive because we don't have time to wait for incremental progress. Homelessness isn't waiting. Climate change isn't waiting. Racial inequities aren't waiting. The status quo isn't working, and we need leaders who share the same experiences as families in King County and will act with the urgency required to deliver results. I'm the son of refugees from White Center, and growing up in uncorporated King County, I saw firsthand how much of a difference investing in people can make. When I was seven years old, my dad was in a terrible car accident. It left him quadriplegic, and my family relied on anti-poverty programs like TANF to get by. Because of that assistance and years of hard work, I broke the cycle of poverty and built a successful career in the private sector. Now I represent the community that held me and my family up as a state senator in the legislature. And since taking office, we've passed policies that are making a difference in people's lives. Tax breaks for seniors and working families, strengthening police accountability, and funding the same anti-poverty programs my family relied on so countless others can stay housed and fed through this pandemic. We've made tremendous progress in the legislature, but need leaders who will work with the same urgency to get things done in the county. We need an executive who will uplift the voices of those in the community instead of making them fight just to be heard. Homelessness has been an emergency for over a decade and nothing seems to change. It's time for the executive's office to get it done because families in King County work hard every day to improve their lives. They deserve a leader who will work just as hard for them. My name is Joe Wynn. I'm running for county executive and I'd be honored to earn your vote.